Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about making history memorable and we're going to use the old school game memory to gamify historical thinking. So before you start, do your students even know how to play the game memory? Um, it's a popular one when students are young, but just in case you may need to try it uh, without content first. Uh, think about how much time you have. How, how many images do you want to use and how will players verify their matches? <clears throat> so we will talk about that more in a second. So here's a potential game. So you flip one card, uh, then get it. Next one. Oh, I think it was up here. Perfect. Now, one way you can do this is say, all right, connect to the theme. So have students back up their claims with evidence and say, this connects to this theme and why. So next match. Oh, here we go. Another one, make up their claims and keep going. So that's just one way that you could do it. But just imagine these are the images that you use and all of them are flipped over. Oh, what's the common theme between all of them? So that's one way to sort of continue that conversation once all of them are flipped over. Another way that you could set it up is more of a vocab term and an image. So this is a different type of matching style you could use. I made these bigger so you could see, but this is another way where the images are kind of opposites of each other. So you can see the Civil Rights Act of 1964 would be the opposite of Jim Crow laws. Continuing the conversation, it could turn into a card sort where you've got categorization, so maybe political, social, economic. Uh, you could rank based off of, you know, how much it affects your everyday life or another criterion. Um, you could use it as preview, as a review. Uh, you could turn it into a chronological card sort, et cetera. So how would you use this, right? The modifications that I talked about, you could do picture to picture, you could connect to a theme. You could do vocab term to picture. You could do opposites or enemies. Uh, put in the time period, their chronological aspects. One I, one I didn't show, but you could use is putting a quote to a person and have students sort of really talk that out. So to sum up, uh, you're using the old school gay memory and you're having students uh, practice that historical thinking in a collaborative setting. And you're also having fun, right? So before you implement it, some things to think about. How do you want to set up the rules for the game? How do you want to organize the content? How will students make their learning visible? Um, and what do you want to do to extend their learning or potentially alter the way that you're going to play the game, depending on what you're trying to do as the teacher?